morning everybody. A <laughs> cold morning. I had to scratch wind ice from the windshield, believe it or not. But it's very sunny as you can see. I'm half in the sun, half in the shade in order to see better while driving. But um, there were games yesterday. Uh, I saw there were some cup games in Germany. Bayern Munich just winning 2-1 and um, also in Austria. Some cup games, I'm sure there were others as well. I know that tonight is the big, for me, the uh, big game, the makeup game for Milan against Genoa. Probably last will also play in the cup. Uh, so, yeah. But you know, I, I honestly I will not pay much attention to the cup competition until it gets probably semifinals or something like that. Well, but it remains to be seen. However, I'm going to choose a completely different topic today, um, going off a little bit on the tangent because I think it feels right and it's something that I wanted to clarify anyway, because I was part of that fallacy too, and the question is, why do I call the beautiful game soccer? Why? Um, it came up at work already two or three times, um, it came up uh, talking to people especially from Europe also now I had a uh, some someone asking me on my blog kind of in a comment why do I call it my soccer universe why do you use the American terminology well the easy answer the wrong answer would be well I live 10 years in America and for that reason um, you know I want to keep it international and you know the Americans uh, if you say football you mean American football. It is the root of the problem actually uh, with the naming uh, of football. Let me start out this way. Uh, if you say football, depending on where you are, you mean a different sport. And yes, our football, the international, you, if, if I, I, I used to call it international football. Or, European football, which is wrong because it's also very popular in South America. Um, I need to let this pass here, another spicy twist. Um, where was it? So, um, our football is the one that is played with the foot only. Every other form of football uses hands, be it rugby being American football, being Aussie rules, I think there's also Gaelic football, you know, there are many versions of the game and it all comes down to the root of the game. When one of the big schisms in the early development of football in England was, is handling the ball allowed or not? And of course there were many colleges um, that played it only with the foot. There was the famous later rugby college that allowed handling of the ball by the noble disobedience of the rule by allegedly by Ellis. Uh, although if you read about it it's not quite clear if it really was him but of course the Webb Ellis trophy, the Rugby World Cup trophy is named after him uh, and um, there's a big statue at the rugby college as well. So you know uh, that's that. Um, also, and this is, if you go to the medieval games, if you uh, read about this, there was also a lot of handling involved. I mean, this was more a riot sport ball uh, going between villages and so on, but those are precursors of what we call football today. Uh, as odd as it sounds, and I think the most popular one that you can still watch is surely Calcio Fiorentino, which is a lot more like rugby. Uh, so, you know. Naming it football is already an oddity in itself. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Uh, and because, depending on the location, you know, if you're in Australia, football means Aussie rules. If you're in America, football means American football, what we call American football, or gridiron, or however you want to distinguish it. The one played with the helmets, a sport that I love very much. Um, I would even argue if you say it in uh, New Zealand that you might well mean rugby uh, because it's rugby football and 
so you need to have distinguishing terms that it has no doubt about which game do you mean. And starting off in England in the early, uh, there was of course rugby football and there was association football. Association football, uh, just note A S O C C. Yeah. So, uh, what did they call rugby? Short colloquially, they called it rugger. How do you call association football short? Well, it's not as easy, but if you take the S, O, and C, C and drop the A on front, you get ta ta soccer. So, soccer is actually a term that originally in England to distinguish between rugby and football. No, association football, and maybe that's the best way to say it. It's called association. It is in English called officially association football. Uh, back when I went to America, of course, I didn't know any of that. I always thought, uh, like many Europeans, and it, I think it's mostly uh, non British people because you know, you learn in school, yeah, this is called football, and the Americans call it soccer. It's, it was exactly like that written in my textbook, and yeah, it rubbed me wrong. I never uh, understood it. and then I, I had a subscription in America to a wonderful magazine. I still think it's the best soccer mag magazine I've had, also, although it's a monthly world soccer. And in one editorial, the, they wrote, you know, they get uh, la lately a lot of um, questions. Why do we call it soccer? And then he explained it exactly as I did now, that this comes from as, as an abbreviation from association football as a proper English term. Take note, it's a proper English term, not an American term, not an uh, Australian or whatever term, but you know, it's mostly American. Now, uh, why is an American football called American football? Well, it has firmly its roots in rugby. And if you uh, read a little bit about the history, uh, it is, of course, it comes directly from rugby, except that uh, at one point they came to the ideas of downs instead of having it a fluid play, uh, which is what makes American football so distinct from rugby. I mean, uh, if you watch both games and even the scoring systems are meanwhile similar, not the same, similar, uh, also the gameplay, except, um, you know, you have this lining up, but um, the two things that really make it an absolute different game is the down system, where there is a new lineup. Uh, and whenever the ball is dead, uh, teams line up, start a new play, and then of course that the quarterback uh, takes the ball and can pass it forward in rugby to this day, at least. Yeah. Rugby to this day, the only passes you can do is sideways or backward. So at best, a lateral pass is allowed, uh, and that makes the two games uh, different. Add to it that America always has kind of this more martial approach to things, making it a little bit more brutal and you know a good business sense when you get the NFL. Uh, this is a neutral statement. I love the NFL, honestly. I'm, I think uh, NFL football or even college football is. My number two or number three favorite sport, and uh, also enough at work, I have to deal a lot with American football. And yeah, so going off on a complete tangent here, but yeah, this is where the terminology is uh, coming from. Now, don't get me wrong, um, I would like to call it football, but I see when I say football, uh, it is ambiguous. Soccer is uh, not. Soccer clearly identifies the game that I'm talking about. And then, and uh, here's the mathematician in me, uh, soccer is a way shorter word to write. And it just is. So, just for economy, it's also uh, that we decided to use, that I decided to use the term soccer. Um, like it or not. I just felt redeemed that it is um, that um, it is not just an American term that I use, and I it's wrong to say that um, it redeems a lot of my American friends who have been calling it. So once I tell them it's a proper term, they were actually uh, felt felt redeemed, and that's actually what compelled me to call it also my soccer universe. So I and. 
it's a great conversation starter. If someone asks you and they want to know, you're from Austria, why do you call it soccer? Well, here it is. Soccer is not an American term. It's not diminishing or putting aside our association football. It is actually a unique uh, name for, for the game that is actually universally understood meanwhile. Uh, I still call NFL football or what they say in America. If I talk to Americans, I say football, but other than I say American football. Uh, for some reason, I don't say gridiron, although I like the term a lot. Uh, because it also needs its own. Or if you just say NFL. Uh, same thing goes uh, Australian rules, football is Aussie rules. Uh, it's as simple as that, and then if you're a rugby union, rugby league, it all works out fine, I think. Yeah, that's the story between behind the name soccer. Let me know if you knew that. Um, actually, um, one last thing that I have to say, because I said Americans seem redeemed. Uh, I sometimes see now reaction videos of especially Americans reacting to soccer skills. Uh, and they are kind of, I mean, there is, for all their grandeur, there's a certain self-deprecating streak in Americans that they, and I realized that they always assume that what to make, especially the hard, 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 hard to say middle class of students, the students, they realize that coming from Europe, you know more countries, you know where, you know more flags, um, and of course you call the game that's actually played with foot, you call it a football. And you know, I saw the other day this guy on the reaction. I like it. I think it's in the channel called the Kitchen Sink, and I, I like watching his stuff. Not everything, not every, everything. I'm not hooked to like to other channels, but I like what what what, what he's doing. And. The one thing that he is saying, you know, and he had this video, maybe I should put a link in the description here, he had this video, video for uh, a quick guide for uh, things that you should need to know about to, 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 to become a soccer fan. And this talks about, you know, the, how the championships work, that every country has one, there's relegation, promotion, uh, there's the European Cup, the Champions League, there's the Cup competition, I think those were the four things. And I think it was a nice video. Even and I like how it kind of opens up his mind a little bit. But at the beginning, he says, I want to become a soccer fan. Very much like I was uh, more than 20, 20 minutes ago when I said, I want to become an American football fan. I want to see that game. I want to see what sports to fuzz all about, why people like it. And I got into it. Uh, same thing for rugby. I, uh, rugby, I really want all the watch every four years when the World Cup is around. But, and I have now the chance maybe, maybe to watch a little bit more. Uh, Thanks to the zone, but uh, soccer just often takes over. Uh, but you know, I said I want to become, I want to know about this sport. I want to become a fan. And he does the same, and then he says, "Well, and first thing I should probably do is should call it football and not soccer." And it's kind of in this, yeah, you idiot, you call it it's still soccer. And no, you don't need to. It's a proper term. You can use it, and it's not dirty. It's absolutely not, no, not dirty. So. For all of you out there who use the term soccer, you have a defense now. And you have a good defense. It is not coming from America, it's coming straight from the roots of the game, from England, where it has to be used to distinguish once again between rugby football or rugger and association football or soccer. And that's that. So go on, use the term soccer. I actually, after hating it, because I didn't understand it, now that I understand it, I love this term and I want to keep using it. And that's why I call it my soccer universe. Well, that was something a little different. Let me know what you think, think about it. Um, I also think it's almost uniquely an English problem because uh, in German, yes, we call it Fußball, which is literally football. But the nice thing is, if you want to call American football, we don't say America, uh, Amerikanische Fußball, you say football. So you don't have the problem in the way. Uh, again, let, let know how, how it is in your language. If you have any problems distinguishing uh, between those, whether you knew about uh, the origins of soccer and why is it called soccer and not football uh, in parts of the world. And yeah. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. 
Um, I will have a new feature coming probably on Friday, Thursday, Friday, uh, called Top 10. Uh, hope you will enjoy these and I will also prepare now some, uh, it takes time to do that, but I will do a few more jersey reviews of this season. Uh, also prepare League, Nations League D, uh, which is a bear. That's a huge task. Well, with that, I will talk to you soon. Bye.